Hello, and welcome to Data Science Wednesday. My name is Tessa Jones, and I'm a data scientist here at Decisive Data. And today we're going to be talking about prescriptive analytics, which is really the last set of analytics within the spectra of analytics that we've been covering. Starting with descriptive analytics, which is really the baseline of all analytics in general. And this really tackles the question of what's going on in my business. Then we move into diagnostic analytics, which gets us into why things are happening. Why is my revenue going up or down? Things like that. And it really helps us to understand how to predict things, which leads us right into predictive analytics. So predictive analytics provides models that's going to tell us what's going to happen in the future. So now what? You know what's going to happen in the future. The beautiful thing about prescriptive analytics is it tells you what to do with that information. It gives you an action that you can run with to drive your business. So let's take an example. Let's pretend that you are a grocery store owner. And you probably have a good baseline of descriptive analytics, some nice dashboards to help you understand what's going on in your business. You probably have information about what, how different products are selling over time, things of that nature. And then you probably went into diagnostic analytics where you're looking at why things are happening, what causes revenue to go up or down. And that really supports the building of a predictive model. So this is an example of the output of a predictive model. We have two products here. One is blue and one is red. And the, the blue product here, you can see that it's very seasonal, right? Like the, the blue product sells a lot more during the summer and the red product sells a lot more during the winter. And this line here indicates what's going on today. So the predictive model says, wow, sales in blue is gonna go way up and sales in red is gonna go way down. So now what? What do we do with that information? That's where prescriptive analytics comes in. We integrate that with the descriptive information we have, which down here, this is telling us what is on hand. We can see that the blue product, the inventory in the store, is going down and we're about to run out. Whereas the red products, we have an abundance of those. So if we take this information and integrate it into the business process, we can say, well, for cereal on week 36 in store 10, we predict that we're gonna sell 56 units of cereal, but we know we only have 40 on hand. We also know that this particular business doesn't want to ever run out of products because to them that means they're losing revenue. So we want a buffer of that. So we decide we're gonna ship 18. And if this is really a good prescriptive model, then this is seamlessly integrated into the business so that these actions are just happening. So it frees you up to make all kinds of other business decisions that are very important and more insightful. So to recap, prescriptive analytics is the suite of analytics that gives you actionable things to do with the data that you have. That's prescriptive analytics and thanks for joining.